of servants. Take note, I'm your queen and your whole computer system just does not work without me. Take note of what I can do with my ALU and my CU. I'm the ruler of this game. I and I only. <laughs> An instruction just came in from Ram. Wonder which input device put this in. Anyway, let's process it. Another instruction just came in from Ram. Ah, I'm going so fast today. This instruction needs some calculation. ALU? Yes, I'm here. How may I help you? Can you calculate this instruction for me, please? No problem. All right. There, I'm done. Thank you, ALU. And let me continue. Need some logical operations. Hmm. LU? Yes, I'm ready. All right, done. Thank you, LU. Uh, I am the queen of this system. Nothing gets done here without me. Before I let you go to your mundane duties, I have a song for you. Listen up. I'm your central processing unit. I process data. Yes, I do it. Every little task the computer carries out. I can assure I'm at the midst of all of it. My control unit checks the flow of data, puts everything in their place at the right time. My ALU, it executes that data, sends results to run. Now the machine cycle is done. <gasps> What's the machine cycle? <laughs> Listen up. First, I fetch, then decode, execute, then store. Four steps short, then a million times more. This is what is done when the computer receives instruction. <laughs> and that's why I'm the queen of this kingdom. I'm your central processing unit. I process data. Yes, I do it. Every little task the computer carries out. I can assure I'm at the midst of all of it. My control unit checks the flow of data, puts everything in their place at the right time. My ALU, it executes that data, sends results to RAM. Now the machine cycle is done. What's the machine cycle? <laughs> Listen up. First, I fetch, then decode, execute, then store. Four steps short, then a million times more. This is what is done when the computer receives instruction. And that's why I'm the queen of this kingdom. Hi, I trust you have been enjoying the content on my channel. And I must say, hello to my lovely students. Hello to my subscribers, all 431 at my last check of you. I am so happy that you're subscribing to my channel and I really hope that the information being conveyed thus far has been helpful and informative. Now, just in case you didn't realize what topic we're dealing with today, it is the processor, 
the big bones of the computer system, the CPU. And Miss Royal Highness would not even allow me to borrow her blue background. So here I am using this plain old white background. <laughs> All right, now, as you pretty much know, the CPU is the brains of the computer. Every instruction that is carried out, every instruction that is processed within the computer system happens or is a result of the CPU doing its work. Now the CPU consists of two parts, two major parts. That's the ALU, that's what it's affectionately called, but we're calling it the Arithmetic Logic Unit. That's the full correct name. And the CU, full name, Control Unit. The Control Unit is the first one that we're gonna be looking at. And it pretty much handles how all the instructions that comes into the computer system flows. So every flow, it ensures that every piece of instruction is exactly where it needs to be at the exact time it should be there and that what is supposed to be done to that instruction is being done to it at that time think of the control unit as hmm, the choir director so for all my church goers out there who has ever sung in a church choir more times than not, we have a choir director telling us what to do and saying, okay, go high, now go low, and we'll sing it straight, we'll sing it in harmony and sing it in unison. Well, this is the job of the control unit. The control unit tells everything where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there. The ALU now, the arithmetic logic unit, is the one that pulls out the big guns. The ALU actually executes the instructions. You all know, or if you don't know, let me tell you now, the computer reads in binary. It reads in computer language. So when you enter your letters and your audio into the computer, it's not hearing this audio and it's not seeing your letters. It's seeing machine language. And that's how it then goes about executing your instruction, which is why it needs to be executed by the ALU, the part of the CPU that deals with arithmetic and logic operations, right? Now, when the ALU is finished executing all this information, it sends it over to RAM, where it stays until the user is ready for it. Everything I just described is actually what we call the machine cycle. You heard it in the song, Fetch, decode, execute, store. This cycle happens millions of times per second. And in higher functioning computer systems, it happens even more than that. All right? So this is what happens every time an instruction is entered into the computer. Bam, a machine cycle. Bam, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And they're going faster than I can speak. But this is how the machine cycle works, right? Fetch, decode, execute, store. All of this that I spoke about today is pretty much the most concise version I can give you of how the central processing unit works. I'll be leaving a video here that I saw while I was doing my research to complete this video for you. She explained it so much better than I ever could. So go ahead and watch that video when you're done here. It's study tip time. Who said studying can't be fun? Let's find out new and interesting ways to study and not fall asleep while doing it. Here's your study tip for today. Take good notes during and after class time. Dating each entry and keeping notes for different classes separate from each other. It helps a whole lot. Review your notes every day. Spend at least 30 minutes each evening going over notes from each class you had that day. As I've always said to you, thank you for reaching out. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting on my videos. Thank you for sharing my videos so that I can get more subscribers. Thank you for watching my videos and really learning from them. And as I always leave you, have a good and godly day. For of what lasting valley is a good day, if it is not also a godly day. Peace out. Love you all. I'm your son.
control processing units. I process data. Yes, I do it. Every little task the computer carries out. I can assure I'm not the midst of all of it. My control unit checks the flow of data, puts everything in their place at the right time. My ALU, it executes that data, sends results to RAM. Now the machine cycle is done. What's the machine cycle? Listen up. First I fetch, then decode, execute, then store. Four steps short, then a million times more. This is what is done when the computer receives instruction. And that's why I'm the queen of this kingdom. Yes, that's why I'm the queen of this kingdom. Bye.